let's talk about it. I love it. Oh, it's been on your bucket list for a while now, right? It has been. And have you done it yet? I did it. The scene is not out yet. I don't. I hope it comes out soon because I want everyone in the world to to it. But I will tell you that I had a really hilarious journey for it. Um, doing about a dom- I heard I had a dom- um give me a bunch of in on the hotel bathroom. I shot everywhere. I was like water balloon i told my bi friend about it he was like so wait I'm back up. <laughs> it, it, like how did this dog stay, like did was she a friend that just happened to be a yeah 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 she's a friend that, she's okay, not like a random like hire someone she's not like, like a random like, craigslist dog. Okay. i did hire her um but i was like oh my god i'm paying her hourly and i'm not getting clean what the hell like i made her like almost three grand because it took me so long to clean out like i just charge you by the hour for the cleaning yes i was like oh my god i should have just done like a day right like i didn't know i also just didn't eat clean i was just a little kid i didn't have any psyllium husk i didn't do any type of preparation i learned a lot about myself yeah um one was that i don't want to do it alone so then i got my you don't want to clean out alone yeah i don't want to do that alone Really? No, I feel usually like a very private thing. That people do. <laughs> I told my friends and they were like, wait, what? So I called my bi friend. I was like, hey, I feel like I'm still doing this wrong. Can you help me? So we had an enema party. He came over. He got his enema bag. I got my enema bag um, and we did it together. And I felt like that was still wrong. Like I feel like, <laughs> like I felt like I was distracted because now we're just hanging out in front of each other. So I was like, um, never mind. Um, also, like, my friend was, like, also helping stretch out this too, and then mm-hmm. he got, like, a and he started off, and I was like, we've lost focus. <laughs> we've, like, lost the plot line here. I still want to do You didn't film any of this, did you? No, this is for me. This is, I have a lust for learning. Uh, <laughs> my next thing that I want to learn is learn how to start. So, if anyone wants to start with me and have a party, call me. Um, Valerica Steele. <laughs> and and then the next one, I got a colonic, mm-hmm. and I like found that so interesting. Have you ever done a colonic? Oh yes, and they I love and hate them. It's like the most uncomfortable forty five minutes of your life, but you feel great afterwards. Yeah, they have like the little like calm meditative music, yeah. and you can watch the like the little meteors. Yeah, or, like come you can out of wa- you. That's the that's the best part is watching like the poop come out, and then the person like tells you about like your life based on your poop. They like know what you. Yeah, need. it's like astrology, but yeah. shit. <laughs> But I felt like walking out of it, I felt like I was swollen with water. Like, I felt like I, w- I had, like, a little water baby for a few days. Really? Then I got super skinny. Then I okay. got, then I became a skinny legend. I loved it. Um, and the next one was Tommy King, actually. We had an enema party. Really? But she didn't do it with me. She just watched me do an enema in her bathroom. Okay. Um, but she was coaching me, like, detail by detail, like, how to do it her way. Mm-hmm. And I feel like she had the best foolproof method. Also, I asked her about how to do an enema like months ago and I like forgot. And then I asked Nicole Doshi like her enema process and she sent me Tommy King's copy and paste like enema process as well. So I guess it's being passed around like mm-hmm. like the Bible or like, you know, like like a handbook for all sluts everywhere. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a generational kind of yeah. like learning. I mean, this is what I love about the adult industry is the fact that like girls like share cleaning out tips with each other. I've gotten Joanna Angel's method. I've I got- have too. Yeah. He was a guy that I was dating before I met my husband who had a huge and love to have. And I called Joanna about that. Joanna has been consulted on many tasks. She should, uh, she should do a workshop. She should, yeah, she, she really should. She probably has, actually. She probably has. I asked Adriana Chechik. Yeah. Every girl that has, I asked Alexis Tay. Any girl, I was in there. Like, <laughs> like I, and they all, surprising, were so different. Like each girl has like a totally different method that works yeah. for them. And I was completely fascinated. I'm like, wow. And then I did it. Then I did. It. And that was like taking DMT. Like that, <laughs> like I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to be the same. So you enjoyed it, I assume. That ruled. Every guy I talked to who always was like, let's like do it. And I was always like, shut up. Was always like, you're going to love it. And I'd always be like, shut up. Like, what? <laughs> shut up and you did and i did and i loved it i was like you guys are so right i it was so funny i saw mr lucky at a party a few days ago and i was like dude i love uh, i said hi i love 
<laughs> and he was like, are you like hitting on me? And I was like, no, I'm just telling you, I really love it. Like I want to get ass everywhere. I saw Mike Adriano. I was like, dude, I love it. And he was like, I was like, no, I'm just telling you, I just, I love it. And it made me skinny. I like lost 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you did diet. Yeah, yeah. I like started eating gummy wares and coconut water. Um, I love it. So, did you find that like you should you don't eat before a scene because people like you said everyone's different. I did do a day um, where I did an enema after eating like bullshit. Mm -hmm. I can still do it. It's just knowing that I'm gonna have to be in the bathroom for a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Like, do I want to like suffer for three hours? but have a fun cheeseburger moment? Or like, do I want to suffer for only like half an hour, but yeah. eat sadness? Like it's, eat you just, sadness. yeah, it's just t choosing your two destinies. What's the best kind of food to eat um, if you're gonna eat? Um, I guess like whatever the f you want, it's just making sure that you have at least three hours like in store to suffer in, mm -hmm. in the bathroom. It's a very humbling process because you're doing it all alone. Mm. And I didn't know that- Wait, I thought you were, you were doing animal parties. I, I know, but now I do it alone. Oh. And now it's like it's oh. sad and lonely. I, yeah, I just I thought we did it with our friends. I don't know, like when you, like it's like a, this is a two way street. I will say, like now I have no patience for fluffing. How dare you come into this set with a soft <laughs> after I have suffered in this bathroom for three hours? <laughs> I will never tell people to do that thing that they do with the trimax, but I'm always just like, what'd you do? Yeah, nothing. Okay, like whereas your girl was here with her enema bag for three hours getting ready out. for today. Yeah, how like, dare you? <laughs> don't you come at me with that soft Yeah, like if I see it and they're like there's like good there's like good fluffing protocol too. Mm -hmm. Like a really good guy on set, like once his off, knows to direct the focus elsewhere while he figures it out. Mm -hmm. A bad guy that's inexperienced on set will just continually wait for you to get it hard, like mm -hmm. through like sucking or like you super stupidly, mm -hmm. those guys should go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> they should be behind bars because you have like wasted all my saliva and juice. I hate yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. The worst is also too like when they can't come and they're just like asking you to suck them off and like tickle their butt for like an hour. No, that's it's like there needs to be like a handbook of like, dude, just go in the bathroom and off yeah. like what and then like run out and say yeah. it's coming it's coming yeah get yourself there yeah, yeah. <laughs> when i've talked to guys about whether like you know because some every guy is a bad day and some times it's just not going to work and they've all said like 20 minutes is like the cutoff like if you can't get hard after 20 minutes like you're just yeah you got you got to call the scene yeah and like let them bring somebody else in i feel like because guys don't understand that that's labor for my jaw and my yeah. Like, and I'd only have so much liquid, even if I super duper hydrate. Yeah. And it's like now, that's like my thing too, that's like, I guess, changed since I've started having. Mm -hmm. Is like in real life, if your is not hard, I'm not a fluffer. Like, I, like, if, if you're like shy about it, I'm like, we just gotta do something else, guys. Like, uh, yeah. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.